Welcome to our demonstration on cloning and deploying virtual machines from a template. In this demonstration, we will learn to clone a virtual machine and deploy a virtual machine from a template. We will start by cloning Windows VM2. With the VM selected, we click on Actions and go to Clone. The Clone Existing Virtual Machine Wizard appears. We name the virtual machine Windows VM4 and click Next. Now we have to select a computer resource for this new virtual machine. Here we select host number 6 and click Next. We also need to select a storage location for this virtual machine, along with a virtual disk format. In this case, we select Thin Provision and click Next. For the clone options, we stay with the default settings, leaving these unchecked, and simply click Next. After clicking Finish, cloning of the virtual machine begins. Once the cloning process is complete, we see that Windows VM4 is now in the vSphere web client. We also notice here that the DNS name in the guest operating system of the new VM is still Windows VM2. This is an identical copy of the original virtual machine. To solve this issue and to further automate the process of customizing a virtual machine, VMware introduced Customization Specification Manager. Using this tool, we can automate the process of customizing a newly deployed virtual machine. Here we are going to create a new customization specification for Linux virtual machines. We give the customization specification a name and click Next. We see a few options to provide a computer name to the virtual machine guest operating system. For example, we can enter a name and append a numeric value. In this case, we will use the virtual machine name when a virtual machine is deployed using this customization specification. We will also need to enter a domain name and click Next. Here we select the time zone and click Next. We now see a few options to configure networking. We can either provide custom settings or use the default setting, which is DHCP. Click Next. Since we are using DHCP, there is no need to enter DNS server information. However, a DNS search path is required. Click Add and then click Next. Click Finish. Here we can see the new customization specification. In the next step, we'll clone another virtual machine. Linux VM1. Click on Actions, go to Clone, and enter a new name. We'll call this one Linux VM2 and click Next. We select host number 6 to run this virtual machine. Click Next and select Storage for this virtual machine. This time, while selecting Clone options, we check Customize the Operating System and Power on Virtual Machine after creation and click Next. We select the newly created customization specification and click Next. Click Finish to deploy this new virtual machine. Once the machine has been deployed, we open up the console to see that the customization specification worked. The guest operating system is reporting a host name of Linux VM2. Another way to easily deploy a virtual machine is to use a virtual machine template. Here we have built a Linux virtual machine to exact standards, sometimes called a gold or master image and we are going to convert it to a virtual machine template. Once the virtual machine has been converted to a template, we can use this template to deploy new virtual machines. Customization specifications can be used when deploying virtual machines from a template to make each virtual machine unique. This concludes our demonstration on cloning and deploying virtual machines from a template. Thank you.